Okay, my peoples, my peoples, I got a killer cardio workout for y'all to either end or start your workout day, depending on how much of a beast that you want to be. This is 330 punches in total. And you punch depending on what number that you want. Now you're going from one to 10. So when you're on one, you throw one punch. When you're on two, you throw two punches. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, and then you switch. So you start with the uh, the jab, then you go with the straights, then you go with the left hooks, then you go with the right hooks, then you go with the left uppercut, then the right uppercut. And that would be 330 punches in total. Now, the way that I am punching this bag is I'm not punching this bag with power. However, I am punching as hard and as fast as I can. So as you can see, like I'm not punching like very, very fast. There's not a lot of speed on my punches. However, it's strong, powerful, fast punches as fast as I can. So I'm keeping everything tight like I'm trying to knock somebody out. But I'm pulling my punches as fast as I can because I have to throw multiple punches before I can take a break. So don't worry too, too much about the form. You don't want to have sloppy form, but you don't have to be a boxer. You don't have to have perfect form to do this exercise. It's really just about getting those punches out there as hard and as fast as you can and pulling your punches as fast as you can and barely grazing the bag. I can't stress that enough. You don't want to really just hit that bag and have that bag swinging. I want you to pull your punches. I want you to barely graze that bag because it's about getting hard and fast punches to this bag as fast as possible. So it's, it's, not, as, it's not about just speed. It's not about just power. It's about doing both at the same time and pulling those punches. So as you can see, I'm getting a little bit winded. It's all good. I did. I, this is the end of my workout. Um, I did chest, I did cardio, and I did some arms. So get a little bit winded, but it's good to do this at the end of my workout because I walk out the gym just feeling really, really great when I do some sort of cardio to end my workout. So now I'm doing uppercuts. And another thing that you will also notice about this exercise, what I'm doing is I'm hitting the bag in different places. So I'm not just focusing on the knockout punch and hit them uh, face level, punching someone in the face. You never know who you are gonna be fighting. That person can be taller than you, could be your height. The person can be shorter than you. You never know how they are gonna move, how they are gonna move around you or whatever. They could be a professional, they could be an amateur. You just never know. So you got to get your body used to throwing different variations of punches in different places. So don't just get caught up in throwing face level punches. Throw mid level punches. As you can see what I'm doing, I'm uh, throwing body punches. I'm going low, as low as I can. I am uh, squ I'm squatted down just a little bit, but I'm just hitting the bag in different places uh, just, just to get that good workout in and get that muscle memory in. At the end of the day, it's 330 punches. It's, it's harder than what it looks, so just try it. 